Hello again, Vinyl Community, Matt here, and I have some more finds, or some more eBay buyers from my my uh, usual supplier on eBay, <laughs> my favorite seller, I guess you could call him. So uh, let's dig right into it. Uh, first up, actually, this this is something I bought weeks and weeks ago, and I just kept forgetting to show it, but um, this is from a Goodwill, and that's some um, Elvis 30 number one hits cassette, which I thought was kind of cool. It came out in 2001 or two, I think, uh, 2002. Um, so I think this coincided with the uh, there was um, a remix of a little less conversation that was put out, and I think and that which is on here as well. And I think it kind of coincided with that. Uh, let's do the CDs real quick first. I know people don't usually watch the CDs, so let's just get them over and done with. Uh, the Hit Factory, Pete Waterman's greatest hits. Uh, I do have another Stock Aching Waterman compilation, Stock Aching Waterman Gold, um, but this is more specifically PWL. So it includes some stuff that was done uh, after Stock Aching Waterman, when it was just Pete or when it was just him with one of the other guys. Um, I also picked up several of these compilation albums, Hits 54. This is kind of a rival to now that's what I call music, sort of, kind of. Uh, this is from 2002. I have quite a few of these, so I thought, you know, they were cheap. Hits 56. I'll just give you an example of some of the tracks on here. I mean, honestly, it's not kind of my thing, but since I sort of... I like to collect chart compilations from um, you know different years we've got like Christina Aguilera um, Jennifer Lopez Avril Lavigne okay let's look, let's look for some good stuff hang on okay the flaming lips stereophonics the darkness that's pretty good um, uh, well that's about it <laughs> uh, it's 58 which I didn't realize but I actually already have this so you know never mind um, Hits 59, this is from 2004, uh, who's on this, Natasha Bedingfield, no hang on, let's just pick up the good stuff, um, okay, Franz Ferdinand, Morrissey, The Libertines, Jet, Ian Van Dahl, it's a pretty good track, Kylie Minogue, George Michael, Maroon 5, Dido, yeah, actually this one, um, The Calling, Lou Reed, Satellite of Love 2004 remix, huh? so this actually seems better than that, that last one we just looked at. Um, Mika, Life in Cartoon Motion, I got this a couple of months ago, but um, it had water damage, so I just grabbed it again, nobody else bid on it, you know, it was like two bucks. And finally, <laughs> well, you guys might think this is funny, uh, this is a CD single, Chris de Berg, uh, Blonde Hair, Blue Jeans. Um, the fact that it's a CD single is probably not, not quite so funny, although I don't usually buy them, but just the fact that it's a Krista Berg CD single, but I got it for nostalgia. I had this when I was a, a teenager. I don't know why I bought it back then, but um, in fact, I don't think the title track is even that great. It's pretty average, but um, I do like both of the other songs that are on here. You Are The Reason and Strangers On A Train. Um, you Are The Reason in particular. It's a really nice song. And this is another one where nobody else bid on it, so it was, you know, a dollar, two dollars, whatever. All right, let's move on to the vinyl. Let's start out with the, let's, let's do the 12-inch records first. Um, first up is an album, Simply Red, Stars. Um, I was a little bit concerned about this because the record had a lot of scuffs on it, but um, once I ran it through a spin plane, they pretty much all came out. So they were, they were obviously just, you know, grime, dirt marks, whatever. Um, this has several hits on it. Something Got Me Started was a hit, Stars, Your Mirror, I think, was a hit. Um... For Your Babies, which I always liked, I think that's a really nice song. So very pleased to grab that. Uh, this is kind of a cool album, nobody else bid on this. Power Themes, Power Themes 90. Okay, now, um, there is a little bit of a backstory to this. There was a, a single released, and it turns out that it's on this album, um, uh, uh, for Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds Are Go. It was FAB featuring MC Parker. Um, so, and I, I, I'm not entirely clear if it was taken from this album or if, or if it just happened to be included in this album, but it looks like, um, it's, it's possibly taken from the album, but I'd have to look into it more. What I like about it, this though, is check out the back of it. That's really cool. You've got all of these classic cult TV shows, mostly from the sixties. Um, and it's got like theme songs from them. So we've got Thunderbirds, Joe Niney, UFO, Captain Scarlet, Space 1999, Stingray, The Prisoner, The Saint, The Avengers, Danger Man, Department S, and The Persuaders. I think they might actually all be from the 60s. I just love the logos here, the graphics on it. It's really cool. Next up, okay, got to give a little shout out here to Vikas. 
um, W I C K U S. For those of you who don't know, check out his channel. Um, I'll, I'll include a, a link below. He he showed this recently, and he may have even got this from the same eBay seller. Because I'm pretty sure he's bought from the guy before. But um, anyway, he showed this, and and I said, oh my god, I've been looking for that. The chart 86. I had this when I was a kid. I remember getting this. Um, my brother and I went with my grandparents uh, on a caravanning holiday, believe it or not. So we hitched up a caravan to the back of their car and we went to a place in Norfolk called uh, Sheringham. There was a car maybe it's still there, I don't know. Well, the place is still there. Maybe the caravan park's still there, I don't know. And I remember buying this and there's an accompanying album that goes with it that I have coming as well. In fact, it's even mentioned here. It says, buy the chart 86 and get the chart free. So the, the chart, it was an accompanying album that's also coming. And it's just kind of a greatest hits of 1986, sort of, kind of. It's really not. I mean, there are some hits on here, like, you know, here's the back of it. Boris Gardner, I Want to Wake Up With You, that was a number one. My Favorite Waste of Time by Owen Paul, that was a big hit. Um, let's see what else. I'm Your Man by Wham, that was a number one. Uh, Manic Monday by The Bangles, I think that was a number two. But uh, Graceland by the Bible, I've never even heard of that. Um, I'll Keep on Loving You by Princess, I'm not even sure that made the top 40. Even though I, I think it's a better song than her better known track, Say, Me, Say I'm Your Number One. But anyway, I digress. Um, and we've got a couple of 12-inch singles here as well. Uh, Blue Pearl, Little Brother. I bought this from the same seller a few months ago, but it had a huge warp and it was unplayable, so I just bought it again. And that's fine. I don't return something like that because he's made it clear in his listings that... Like, I'm selling thousands of records at a time. He obviously doesn't have time to go through them all with a fine tooth comb. There's going to be some issues. It's kind of, you know, buy at your own risk, so that's fine. And also, um, oh, Pat and Mick, I haven't stopped dancing yet. They were a stock aching waterman deal, so. And uh, final 12 inch single was uh, Matt Bianco, Wap Bamboogie. I think this is a terrific song. I lo it's so funky. I just love. Uh, I love the electric, the electric, excuse me, <laughs> I love the electric guitar uh, work that's in it. And then we've got some 45s as well, so let's have a look at those. We've got The Wonder Stuff, The Size of a Cow. That's a really cool song, I really like it. I love the um, the artwork too right here, that's neat. Um, East Side Beat, Ride Like the Wind. I played this in a fairly recent video. Um, it was on Now 21, I, I showed you guys the cassette and I played that from it. Um, it's a cover version of the Christopher Cross song. Uh, Tasman Archer, In Your Care. This also has a, a mix of Sleeping Satellite on the B-side, which is kind of cool. Elkie Brooks, No More the Fool, from my favorite year of music, 1987. It's a big top 10 hit in the UK. Um, Urban Cookie Collective, Feels Like Heaven. This is a follow-up to The Key of the Secret. It's good. It's not quite as good as The Key of the Secret, but it's a, it's a good song. I like the artwork too. It's pretty nice. The song that everybody in England loved to hate in 1994, Wet 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 Love Is All Around, cover of the uh, the Trog song. This was number one, I'm not kidding, like all summer, 94. It was some, somebody can tell, it was something stupid, like 16 weeks or 13 weeks or something, it was number one. I mean, it started in like, you know, the end of June, and it was still number one in like September or something. I mean, it was kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, I don't think anybody else bid on it, so... Um, another song that people love to hate, Wakefield, Saturday Night. This is a number one in the UK in 90... This is 94 too, I think. Hmm. It says copyright 93, but I'm sure it was 1994. Um, in fact, I'm certain it was. Yeah, the end of 94, uh, number one hit. It's kind of a weird song. It's kind of a dance track, but it's... I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, Shara Nelson, Down That Road. This did have the picture sleeve with it, but it was roached, so I threw it away. Like, it had, like, mold on it, so I just kept the record and cleaned it up. Um, this picture sleeve is also pretty bad, but I will keep it. Um, Ace of Base, All That She Wants. Big uh, hit in the UK. I think it was number one. Pretty sure it was number one in 93. Uh, really pleased to get this. Tears for Fears, Woman in Chains. This is from the Seeds of Love album. This is a great track. This was a song that introduced Alita Adams to the world because she uh, sang lead vocals on it. Uh, East 17, Stay Another Day. This was the Christmas Christmas number one in the UK in 1994 oh, or five. Um, 94, end of 94 and going to 95, Christmas number one. Um, you guys are going to laugh at this. Anyway, 
there's a whole story behind this. Mr. Blobby, I, it's a novelty song. I had the CD single as a kid. I, I do intend to make, um, I've been thinking about it for a while, but make a video showing novelty songs. I know that Andrea is also thinking of doing that. Um, at the, the vinyl vlog, sorry, it's the name of her channel, the vinyl vlog. Um, so I will see. I said to her, hey, I've been thinking about doing that too. So we'll just, we'll see who gets there first. I have quite a lot of them. I bet I have at least 10 I could show her. But anyway, we've got a couple more left. Uh, Madness, It Must Be Love. Great track. Um, Tony DeBart, The Real Thing. That's a dance song. That's a UK number one in 1994. And, oh, no, that's it. I do have one more, but I'm not going to show it. The other one's going to be a separate video. That's going to be a video all of itself. So <laughs> I almost gave gave uh, gave that video away. So uh, that's it. Yeah, more more fines, more 45s. It's a good thing I've got that new box behind me, though, because uh, I'm going to need it with all these 45s that I keep buying. But thank you, as always, guys, for watching. Um, if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below. Click the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you, as always, for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.